did any, um, you know, these days we hear a lot of wrestlers talk to the younger generation and say, oh, you don't want to do this and you don't want to do that. Did anybody come to you in that era and say, mm, I don't know about that hangman spot cactus? On, no, I'd say unlike the, the stuff that I did, the elbow and the backdrops on the floor where I'd be warned and reprimanded, I, I think, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, by basis of Robert Fellow, oh, good old school spot, Jacko, that it, it, they liked the idea that somebody was doing one of their, their spots. Uh, on the... Um, uh, my a &E biography, Rick mentioned that uh, Dory Funk Jr. used to do that with his foot. Uh, Adrian Adonis used to do a, he used to get knocked out, take a clothesline backwards with both his arms in there and get both arms done. But I've been with Like some, Andre. Yeah, like Andre. Well, but differently. And I, uh, Andre would get him tied up like this. Yes. Adrian would take the clothesline over the top rope. Oh, I see. And come up. And I remember years and years ago being with some good uh, pros and all trying to figure out how Adrian did it, and we, we couldn't get it. We couldn't get it. So mine is, you know, and I say it's simple in that he, this is what you do, second rope over the top rope, but it's a matter of timing. It's a matter of being willing to hang in there enough to, long enough to make the move meaningful, and then you got us. You have to sell it. Uh, I will come out of my easy chair and drive down to whatever arena <laughs> someone is performing at if I see someone no selling the hangman because it's uh, yeah it's it's believable right sure. it's, it should be believable uh, there's a lot I've got a believable injury to show for it and you just want to make sure people treat that respectfully yeah um, but yeah that was that was a that was a I didn't use it so much. That it wasn't a surprise, but it was there for for me on a special occasion, which I thought that night in Germany was. So you had done this move for years at that point, including it sounds like Continental because you mentioned the Fullers. Yeah, yeah. Did you do it in world class? Uh, I did it in world class uh, because Chris Adams had seen me do it when uh, Watts was running those uh, shows. Uh, so Chris loved the move. I did it in Continental. I did it in World Class. Uh, I'm not sure if I did it in my first run with WCW, but I used it many times, especially at house shows. Yeah. At house shows, it was a great house show pop. And looking back on it, I was like, well, should I have been, you know, a great house show pop versus a four-hour emergency room stay? Like, nah, I'm looking back on it, probably not a good move, but... You know, when I was working with guys like Steamboat, who had worked with the best in the world, like I wanted something that I could do, especially given that I, you know, I didn't have the uh, gas tank that uh, some of the guys that he worked with uh, had. You know, not I'm notably, I'm thinking of Rick. Sure. And uh, and I didn't want to disappoint Ricky. Ricky, when I was working with him, had injured ribs too, that we were working around. And so I was trying to have good matches that would, you know, live up to Steamboat's standards, and that make was, an impression. Yeah, that was one of the uh, one of the moves that I would throw in. So you mentioned a four-hour emergency room visit. Was that protocol? If you got one, of, if you felt one of those splits in your ear, you know, you're going to the ER. If it was bad enough, if it was bad enough, uh, or it might just depend on, you know, who. What I could was, they do at that point? I'm not saying that to be silly, but what is there to do with they, that? Point? They stitch it up. I see. Yeah. So it was usually, I'd say in the 12 to 16 stitches range. Oh, my. So I think you could say, well, look, you know, uh, I probably should have taken that item off the menu. <laughs> so you slept on your left side that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the, the difference between going to the emergency room and not going to the emergency room might not be based on the wound itself but might be based on whether or not you were taken off for the next town that night if I you see. were riding with someone. So ice and uh, peroxide, whatever you could find, uh, new skin burned, uh, rubbing alcohol burned, peroxide bubbled up, uh, and then sometimes they would, I, I would tend to it myself, sometimes Gary Michael Capetta's mom would tend to it. Sometimes a nurse backstage would do a little something, and sometimes it was bad enough I'd go to the ER.